hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog to my channel i just wanted to give you a little bit of an update of the um long range well medium to long range it's, you know it all depends what you consider to be long range or not quad build or drone now this is the last one on the hardware basically i'm just going to show you how i've put this in uh i've gone for the um 30.5 scale you can get smaller 20 by 20 and i'm not using an all-in-one stack or anything basically i'm using what i've used before in other builds which is the cadex camera i find it to be pretty good with a nd filter on there not so good without an nd filter uh, the only thing i bought new for this is the frame a long range frame and the escs these, I bought them because they're very narrow, as you can see. These are, I think, they're like, I can't remember what they are, but they're, they're very, they're very narrow. These are the uh, Talon Skystar Talon 48s, 40 amp, sorry. And um, they've got a heat sink built on top, which is quite nice. And they've got LEDs. I've not actually seen these lit up yet because I've not powered any of this just yet. Um, it's not, I've not um, set up any of your software or anything. I just wanted to show you the sort of thing you, you might be dealing with, you know, when it comes to the wiring. And it can all start looking like a bit of a colossal mess. And uh, these are just one of the things, you know, yeah, as you as you build, you'll know, be able to make these like pretty much smaller and smaller, even though this is pretty much on its limit of how small I can get this. If you imagine there, look, that's for the top for the GPS. Now, I've set mine, so my antenna is at the back, my control antenna is at the back, and the video transmitter is at the fore. So we've got the fore and the aft. Um, the reason why I've done it like that is because even though it's not a set rule, and I'll show you, even though it's not a set rule, let me just push that out of the way. Because if you can see this little thing here, um, this has the VTX and the receiver pretty much on top of each other down here. Because the VTX is this bottom part, uh, in amongst, just in the, the top of this space here, is the actual receiver um, for this. But what I don't like about it is that to me is just too close for long range for this the way this is is great just for flying around having a bit of fun it's absolutely brilliant this is 142 grams all in even with the 4k camera uh, it might be an extra gram when the ND filters on there but even with a 4k camera it's 142 grams this is brilliant but it's no good for long range all right there's uh, you know the battery and everything the flight times of this is five minutes tops um but so it's not as though it's a rule oops there's my thingy number i think you can do anything with that anyway um i don't think it's a rule um but i don't like doing it like that especially if it's going to be something for you know trying to get a bit of an extended distance so what i like to do is try to have them as far away from each other as possible the video transmitter on there that's going to be on there i'm not quite sure yet what i'm putting on there could be this uh this fat shark thing this is no good because the it doesn't have the pin on the middle and that means i'd have to put an adapter in there and there's a little bit of loss associated with that and we're going to try and keep as much gain as we can so it's probably going to be one of these just because it will go everything's all black on here and another thing about it as well is i've on my battery so it's going to swing underneath no it's going to be underneath because if i were to put the battery on the top where i believe that that's where they might you know sort of how you put it given these uh lines in there for your strap to go through i'm not going to be able to put the gps and as this is going to be a bit of a longer range thing and as i've got these gps and these are very good these um new blocks n8m neos a uh, very good GPS. Um, it's got a bigger antenna. And for me, for a long range, I prefer to have a bigger antenna. I do have a smaller one. We could swap that on, pop that on top. But again, it means that's going to be somewhere where the battery has to be. 
uh, or would have been and so the battery on mine is going to sling underneath like i say my uh receiver antenna at the back here because here's my little receiver and i'll just use um you know a, a zip tie or whatever to keep that in place underneath there and this will actually you know you, you it takes a bit of pushing to push it through there um the actual video transmitter i don't even think you can see you might just be able to see where it connects in so we'll put a bit of light on that you might just be able to see where it connects in underneath there on the amx xc or whatever it is uh, connection um i don't know if you can or not but trust me it's it's underneath there and it uh, sits out to the back here a little bit and that's where the power cables come out there if you can see the board just down there so it looks like it's all a bit of a cluster um effort and it's um but you know that 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 should work reasonably well when i say long distance um, a lot of this is going to be how far can your battery get you and back of course uh safe but it will be fun to play around with and it will be able to be you know longer distance than the other little one i've just shown you because um the battery that's going to go on here are the batteries i've used before I don't know how much juice they're going to have left in them because I have recycled them quite a bit. But these are just Zippy Compacts, 220, uh, 2200 or 2.2 amps, 2200 milliamp. 25C series, just because, hey, I'm not going to be pumping this and trying to do flips and rolls, even though it will be capable of it. But it will probably put some um, thing on the battery. This one's got a slight... So I'll have to watch that one. It's got a slight bubbling, very slight. The other ones I've got don't. Um, so I expect they'll be better, but I may just get some refreshed batteries anyway, buy some new ones. I like to say I've got the little Cadex on the front just for now. I don't know what to put in there. I wanted to have enough space to be able to put that and maybe stick a 4K camera on here somehow. I do have a little fitting um, that came with that other little quad I showed you that may... Uh, I may be able to put, th th fit it through here, you know, and connect it through and just have it right on the front. But maybe not. I mean, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I may have to move this around at some point in order to be able to do that. Maybe see if I can get it squeezed into here. I don't really like putting super tight bends on the wires. Uh, that's not so bad. But if you start, um, you know, you start crimping that wire up too much, it's it, it's just not really good practice to do that. Twizzling all these wires up is a good idea because of the way the magnetic fields work as you've got um, you know juice flying around it and it'll cancel cancel them out and it also means you've not got individual wires just sticking out because that can become a transmission or an antenna um, depending on the frequencies uh, that are used. So that's it. Yeah, this is this is once it goes together and then uh, these are the tails for the battery. I'm not quite established i'll get a battery strapped on it and work out what the best length of this is going to be and then get the uh, xt60 put on there and that's it that, that that's basically what it's going to be like it's going to be like this with that sticking out here so we've got the active side here and there uh, you can tell that with these antennas you've got one slightly longer than the other and uh, that will fit in there this will be sat on the top of here uh once i can get it to screw on there sat like that and just for now it's gonna like i say it can have that camera um i will be able to see the props through it i got some props here that i found oh there there's one um so with that sat on there there's quite a bit of distance actually if i put that on there look you can see it's still quite a bit of distance it may even be good for eight inch props um but that's uh yeah that would actually that would actually find that's the right prop for the right motor because that'd be spinning inwards those ones be spinning outwards but we'll set all that up in the software like i say with these you know if there's one not the right way around i don't need to cut that up i just adjust it in the software just reverse it um it's not a big problem so there we go that is the update with this nothing special nothing great here uh, but it seems that once it's all on and this is all uh, down and on and everything else is connected up, I'll get the software in it. I'll give you a, a little show of that and then we'll get it up in the air and see see what we got. 
So here we've got something that flies relatively stable um, straight from the default settings, which is what we want. And normally that's the way it goes. You, the default settings will do that for you. At least that's been in my experience. And I'll sit there. Transmitter, receiver, and receiver. All right, guys, hey, thanks if you've uh, watched this and so far I've been watching these videos. It's um, been a while since I've built one of these and uh, I can't wait actually to get it up in the air. So that should be by the end of the week, just because I've got a whole bunch of things I've got to do this week, doctors and bits and pieces. And I will talk to you shortly. Bye for now.